it's Christmas and somewhere, probably in several places, there are people on hospice who are dying and who in fact will probably die on or around Christmas. When this happens, it can really create a sense of sadness for many years to come as people will always reflect on the fact that their person died during the holiday season. But I have a story about somebody who was able to reframe how she viewed her loved one dying on Christmas. And I hope that it will help you as well. I was working in a hospice care center. My patient was an elderly lady who had a granddaughter she had raised. They had a beautiful, tight relationship. And the granddaughter of my patient was at the care center 24 seven. She would not leave her grandmother's side. And they were both really kind of little spitfires. They were funny and they teased each other and they were just, they were just a couple of characters and I really loved taking care of them. My patient had been at the care center for a long time. She had admitted around the beginning of December and we were now approaching the end of December and Christmas. And this really worried her granddaughter who would every day say to her, you better not die on Christmas. Her grandmother got closer to the end of life and became unresponsive and her granddaughter started saying to us, she better not die on Christmas. I'm going to be so upset if she dies on Christmas and ruins Christmas for me. She was just joking, but not joking. That was kind of the nature of their relationship. My puppy is in the background squeaking his toy. That's what that noise is. So it got to be Christmas Eve and we could all tell that her grandma was really getting close to the end of life and her granddaughter could tell too. And she just kept saying, she better not die on Christmas. I don't want her to ruin Christmas for me for the rest of my life. My patient made it through Christmas Eve and sure enough, in the afternoon on Christmas day, she took her last breath and died. But you know what? Her granddaughter wasn't angry. She wasn't upset. She wasn't even a little bit mad. What she said was that she was happy that her grandmother lived long enough to be able to spend her last Christmas with her and that she would hold that memory of sharing her grandma's last Christmas with her at our hospice care center for the rest of her life. I hope that if your loved one dies this holiday season, you are able to hold a beautiful memory of being together with them one last time, just like my patient's granddaughter did.